Hi, seniors. Welcome to your first senior class meeting. It's your senior class presidents, Josie and Michaela. Shout out to all the clubs that have been making it possible to continue their clubs even though we are doing virtual school. Seniors, welcome to another assembly. You know, uh, I always look forward to uh, the opportunities to just have a, a few words. And, uh, and I know that, that um, the expectation is that I always have something, um, you know, positive and motivating and, and encouraging for all of you. And, uh, and I try hard to, to uh, do that. Um, but be real honest, um, these days, you know, I, I often have feelings of, of just disappointment and even anger about kind of what the world has, has handed all of you. Um, and it, you know, I, I struggle with that a, a bit. So as I was thinking about words for this assembly, um, you know, I honestly came back to the main message um, has not changed. Uh, COVID hasn't changed the fact that it's, it really comes down to you all making those small, hard choices. Um, it's about getting up rather than sleeping in. It's about engaging in class rather than, you know, um, keeping the camera off and doing something different. It's about doing the work and submitting it and trying to, to move forward and to be successful. It's about building the foundation and the opportunities for, for you now and, and your future. And so it really comes back to small, hard choices. Um, the, you know, the other thing that just came to mind is just um, an idea or a, or, or a feeling of thanks for what you're doing. Um, you are leaders in our school and I see it all the time and hear about it even more. Uh, so I want to thank you for, for staying focused on, on building our Ohana, not allowing um, what the world has handed us to change who we are. And I want to thank you for taking care of each other and I want to thank those special ones out there who actually um, put time and energy into into the the juniors and sophomores and freshmen that you can you can guide and remind them about the power of just those those small hard choices and doing what they know they're supposed to be doing to build some success for for you. So um, I, I don't know if that helps, but that's just a little bit of transparency about you know how I'm feeling and um, and how much I and so many of us care about you. I miss you guys terribly. I look forward constantly to the day when we can do this all together. Thank you for who you are. Please make sure to send in your senior yearbook photo. Please send it to ahsyearbook at outlook.com. We would like for you all to send in your photos of you and your senior friends to Aloha Seniors 2021 at gmail.com. These photos will be put into the end of year senior slideshow. They can be photos from any year as long as they are pictures of 2021 seniors. Please pick up your senior shirts in A4. A few reminders for you in December of your senior year. Um, please don't forget to finish your FAFSA. Schools do run out of money and we don't want you to miss out on any financial assistance, it, whether you are attending a two-year college or a four-year college or university. If you don't have a valid social security number, then you will be doing the ORSA application. And the ORSA application, the OSAC scholarship application, and the Oregon Promise application are all on the same website. So it's the OSAC student portal. And the OSAC scholarship is that one scholarship application that makes you eligible for over $10 million of scholarship money. So totally worth your time. If you were to do one scholarship application, that is the one to do. And then um, also don't forget that there's a separate application for Oregon Promise also on this website. Here is an update about the OSAC scholarship. Um, they have let us know that you get to choose which transcript you want to turn in, which one would benefit you most. So you are able to choose between turning in your junior year transcript through your sixth semester or through second quarter of your senior year. Additionally, the early bird deadline is February 15th. If you get your application in by then and there are no errors in the system, then you will be put into a drawing for several $1,000 scholarships. 
We are here to help you. Miss Brennan is available Monday through Wednesday during the day. I'm available Monday through Thursday during the day on Saturdays and Sundays by appointments. Um, you can book us through the links shown here through Calendly. And then also we have some evening appointments available. Miss Lyra is a counselor and she is doing Monday and Friday evenings. And she also speaks Spanish so she can help you in English or Spanish. And then Miss Bondra who used to be the college and career readiness counselor. She is now one of our caseload counselors for juniors and seniors. She's available on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings to help you. That's it, seniors. Take care. Thank you to everyone who participated in Spirit Week. Seniors, continue to participate in the Warrior Games. We are winning, but not by much. Let's not have the freshmen beat us. Show some senior pride. We are still having holiday sharing this year. If you would like to donate, Please make an online check that goes 100% to our 50 warrior families and you can purchase gift cards and drop them off too, as well as socks and gloves. Starting today, December 3rd, we have the Egg Crush Challenge. We challenge everyone to have fun and do dares in honor of holiday sharing. See if your homework teacher will do something on the list to incentivize you to participate by donating or spreading the word. Students can join in and do dares for warrior game points. If you haven't already, please follow our class Instagram where we post updates and important information. We believe in you, Wars. Persevere through the hardships and please reach out if you need any help.